Hey guys, this is Nick and welcome to my Linux experiment. Elementary OS 5.0 Hera is upon us. It's a minor release in the sense that it's not based on the new Ubuntu LTS version. But since 5.0 Juno, a lot has changed. All these new features and tweaks have been consolidated into a single ISO, which you'll be able to buy or download for free from the Elementary OS website. Hera is still based on Ubuntu 18.04 LTS, but includes the hardware enablement stack, which brings better driver support for a lot of devices to the older Ubuntu base. Whether you've been using Juno and have received these updates bit by bit, or you're just interested in how the distro has evolved in the past year, here is a video rundown of Elementary OS 5.1 Hera. This video is sponsored by Linode. Linode provides virtual Linux servers that make it easy and affordable to host your own website, app, Nextcloud instance, or anything else. Linode is totally customizable for power users, but offers a simple, one-click install for most popular apps like WordPress or Drupal. Linode has 100% human, 24-7 customer service by phone or ticket, and is widely documented as well. Give Linode a try with $20 free on your new account using the code LINUXEXP19 or clicking the link in the description. The desktop. First is the new greeter, the login screen. It's been changed radically and now shows a dark grey background, the same that is used in the multitasking view, and a preview of each user's wallpaper behind their profile picture. It looks good in my opinion, but some people seem to think it looks a little drab, which I guess I can understand if you only have one user account and a dark wallpaper, it might be a bit too muted. On first run for each user, the new onboarding app will start, and it will present the user with a few settings to tweak such as location services, nightlight, housekeeping features, and introducing the app center and a few helpful links. This really makes the first experience a lot more friendly, and if you're already familiar with the system, there is a handy skip button that allows you to avoid all that. On the actual desktop side, few things have changed apart from the indicators. The date and time now shows a full calendar and your various appointments for the selected date, which is super handy. The system indicator now shows keyboard shortcuts for more actions, and the sound indicator has received a bunch of tweaks to make it easier to mute a microphone, change its input volume, or simply change the system's audio volume by scrolling. Finally, the Bluetooth indicator has been revamped and now shows connection status for each connected device. Visually, some tweaks have been made, to the dark style of applications mostly, but it's nothing really noticeable. It uses a more neutral color instead of a colder gray. A bunch of icons have been tweaked as well, including the network one, and three new wallpapers are now included by default. All in all, the desktop experience in the Hera is a familiar one to Juno users, but refined and improved. The workflow doesn't change, but it gets a few welcome improvements to the usability. The App Center the App Center has been one of the main focuses of the Elementary team this time around. They made it a lot faster, up to 10 times faster as a matter of fact, and have fully integrated Flatpak support in it. By default, no Flatpak remotes are configured, but if you download a Flatpak ref file, the new Sideload app will open it and allow you to install the Flatpak itself. If that app comes with a remote, it will automatically be added to the system, and you'll be able to update that application directly from App Center and download other applications from that remote. There are a few warnings that these apps are unsupported by the Elementary OS team, and some people seem to feel this is overbearing. But I understand the team's point of view. They are not providing support for these apps, so users should be made aware of it. The App Center also works offline for browsing applications and uninstalling the ones you've already got. All elementary apps submitted to the App Center will keep working with 5.1 Hera. Developers don't need to resubmit them. The App Center is still the best repository of open source apps, in my opinion. It looks and feels professional, the Elementary OS apps it hosts are probably the nicest ones out there, and the attention to detail and flatback integration makes Elementary OS one of the best distros to get a very stable and tested base and up-to-date applications. The Applications Another long list of changes here to almost all of the default Elementary apps. Compared to its initial installment in Juno, the calendar has changed quite a bit. First, it now looks a lot better and makes use of the Elementary OS color palette. It also can be browsed using keyboard navigation, and the event dialog has been redesigned and improved to be more legible and make events easier to create. The music app has picked up an orange accent color, improved sorting for various display modes, and keyboard navigation as well. It also handles high DPI displays a lot better and can play S3M files. The file manager has been much improved as well. First, it can make use of the cloud provider API, so storage providers like Nextcloud can, if they implement this API, be integrated directly into the file manager. 
GNOME seems to be implementing this API as well, so it should see widespread adoption fast and answer one of my top features that all Linux distros should have. The search box now sports an icon and placeholder text to make it more discoverable, and the results dropdown is a little nicer to use, but it still falls short from a true search feature with advanced filters. The color tags that appear in the right-click menu are now easier to click, that's actually a feature I should use more often that you don't find in most other file browsers. Finally, transparent images now show a checkered background in the thumbnails to make them more legible. To finish this rundown, code with the text editor slash IDE has new keyboard shortcuts, a line wrap feature, and a lot of performance and stability improvements. The Photos app has more usable dialogues, the camera app should now work more reliably with more hardware, especially on Dell machines, and the terminal now supports the menu key to open a context menu. The settings. A few of the settings have been touched up and cleaned as well. The sound settings have a new layout to make all your output devices discoverable. It doesn't seem to accurately remember which audio device I choose though, since I have to reset it to my speakers instead of the audio jack of the microphone on each reboot. The mouse and touchpad settings have also been tweaked a lot and are now better separated with the behavior and the devices. These settings now allow you to enable long press secondary click, press Ctrl to reveal the pointer, tweak the double click speed and control the pointer using the keypad. You can also, finally, choose to disable the touchpad when a mouse is connected to your laptop. In the desktop settings, a new appearance tab allows users to select the font size, enable or disable the panel transparency, and disable window animations. The display settings now allow you to set a 2x scaling factor, although fractional scaling is still not supported, and you can select a refresh rate per display in the little cogwheel menu. Bluetooth settings will now display a pairing code for devices that require it, which means that elementary OS should now be more widely compatible with a lot of Bluetooth devices. The network settings have been revamped, with an in-page hotspot setting instead of opening a dialog, and the VPN page has been redesigned to be more usable. Other changes include a more streamlined language installation process and a new option to show the shutdown dialog when pressing the power button to avoid accidental shutdowns. How do I get it? If you're already using Elementor OS 5.0 Juno, then you just have to update your system. Most of these improvements have already been pushed to the existing users over the last year, so you're already using Hera without knowing it. The only missing part is the hardware enablement stack. These are packages that Ubuntu adds to their LTS releases to add more hardware support, and this won't be added automatically to your system, so you'll need to install it manually. I'll have the command line in the description below. No need to reinstall the system this time around since it's not an entirely new release. For new users, downloading or buying the ISO from the Elementor OS website will give them the full 5.1 experience. The volume of changes in a year is pretty big, and Elementor OS is still my favorite distribution. It's polished, stable, and now with Flatpak integration, it is sure to receive the latest versions of applications. The team is relatively small compared to GNOME, but they still manage to push out a huge volume of quality of life improvements and new features, and I simply love it. I still would like to see, until the next release, support for fractional scaling per monitor and the ability to make the dock appear on all connected displays. These features would really make working with multiple monitors a lot easier. In the meantime though, 5.1 Hera is still a great release and I encourage you to try it out if you haven't played with Elementary OS in a long time. I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did, please consider liking, subscribing and turning on notifications. In the meantime, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!